Hello students, let us model the 7.6 conversion of isometric view to orthographic views. So you can consider side view as your reference sketch plane. Through side view, I'll be able to see this yellow color rock profiles, what you can see here. So these profiles will be drawn in this right plane and it will be extruded to the corresponding length 20, 20, 10. So let us go to SOLIDWORKS. Let us open SOLIDWORKS. So open SOLIDWORKS. Select part, click OK. Select right plane as your sketch plane. Right click, normal to make sure that x axis is away from the observer. Right? So when the x axis is away from the observer, draw the profile. So we'll go to sketch rectangle, draw two rectangles like this. Then draw one diagonal. Draw one diagonal. Go to small dimension. Dimension this 40. This is 10. And this height from here till here. Dimension is 20. Now you can see it is saying fully defined. Exit from the sketch mode. Now let us go to sketch one features extrude. Let us extrude this. Direction of extrusion should be in this direction. So total length the base is 50 mm. So 50 I five zero. Click OK. Similarly, so use drop down menu, select the sketch, extrude, select this change the direction of extrusion so the extrusion is 20 plus 10 that is 30 click ok select the sketch extrude again select this profile click on extrusion direction change 10 mm 10 mm click ok so this is how you'll get to know i'll just say i'll press ctrl 1 which is the shortcut for uh, print view this is how it appears from front ctrl 1 right Top view. So this will be the isometric view. Save the file. File name is 7.6. Now go to file, make drawing from part A4 297 210. Okay. Right click on sheet 1, properties, first angle projection, apply changes, go to view palette, drag the print view, leave it here, in order to increase the scale size, you can always scale it up by increasing the scale, from 1 is to 1 to 2 is to 1, now you go to drawing, projected view, click on this, print view will get side view, as well as top view, as well as isometric view. So this is isometric view, generate it, drag it, place it. If you find that scale is more than the required one, you can always customize the scale. Instead of 2, you can always give 1.5. So you can see here, you can accommodate the dimensions as well as the views. Now you select the isometric view, make it into shaded mode. Now go to smart dimensions dimension the entities so for example this will be 60m 50m sorry and this will be 30m similarly this will be 40 and the width from here to here sorry, deleted. from here to here it will be 20mm so next is 10mm from here to here 10 mm, this will be 20 mm from here to here. Sorry. From here to here will be 20 mm. Okay, this width can be dimensioned here. What is my dimension? From here to here, 10 mm. Right now, go to options. Document properties, dimensions, remove trailing zeros. Okay, so as you can see now, this is the print view of the object. So, out of which only done is select another view, 
switch on the unit mics. So this completes the problem.